I can't help but wonder how different things might have been if I had taken my time, if I had a better attitude, if I had gone southbound. One year, six months, and three days later, I find myself with a chance to do it all over. Only this time, I know what I'm up against, which I'm told is half the battle. So, what's the other half? I guess it's acting on what you know. Like right now. I know I have a wild ride through the narrows up ahead. And while I'm pretty nervous to face all those steep rock scrambles again, I'm just gonna take it one step at a time until I make it out the other side. I've shared before Charles Frazier's legend of The Shining Rock. 
And while I'm tempted to tell the whole thing again, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version instead. The story goes, this massive quartz boulder is no ordinary rock, but the gateway to a land free of suffering and toil. A people once had the opportunity to enter it, but because of one man's disobedience, they were banished. Kind of a bleak conclusion, but not all good stories have to end with happily ever after. This part of the trail gets a lot of flack for being untamed and unblazed. And I'll admit, I've let those negative opinions color my own outlook. But after today, I realize just how beautiful it can be. I guess some places are worth giving a second chance. And sometimes a third. And fourth. favorite type of view. I call it the big picture. Miles of trail stretched out in either direction, showing me where I'm going, while also reminding me where I've been. But there's an important lesson about life somewhere in there. I was expecting to play a disorienting game of find the blaze. 
seeing new markings on the trees is a pleasant surprise. It sure makes navigating the balsam maze a little bit easier. could finally breathe easy knowing a third of the journey was now behind me. Best of all, I made it through the Narrows without any mishaps. If I'm being honest though, that part was kind of fun. So far, things are off to a great start. New Gear has the potential to be a total game changer or a regrettable mistake. Either way, it's always a gamble. Sure, you can test it in the backyard beforehand, but it never performs quite the same way out on the trail. Despite how maze-like they can feel at times, the spruce fir forests are one of my favorite parts of Pisgah. The crisp smell of the needles, the sound of wind hissing through the branches, that green hue the canopy casts on everything. There's just so much to love.
Gap Shelter has certainly seen better days. And this time of year, the water source isn't doing much better. The good news is, plans are already underway to construct two new shelters, starting with Butter Gap. This is just a couple of new improvements future hikers can look forward to. What took only 30 minutes to climb up was taking three times as long to get down. I knew the way up Pilot was longer on the other side, but goodness, it feels like forever. But feeling discouraged won't get you there any quicker. In fact, it will probably make the time pass even slower. I'll get there when I get there. And that's all there is to it. Wouldn't you know, that attitude shift made a world of difference in getting over Rich and Chestnut While a motivated mindset can certainly help a backpacker make the miles and conquer obstacles, there comes a point when you just need a peaceful place to call it a day. And I was ready to find that place.
It may be hard to believe, but up until the 1800s, bison freely roamed these parts. In the early days of the National Forest, an attempt was made to reintroduce them. Sadly, they didn't acclimate well to their new home. And within two years, they perished. While they may not be roaming wild, the bison are very much alive today on a handful of ranches across North Carolina. You might catch a glimpse of them driving through Haywood or Buncombe County. Walking the art lobe again has brought me to two conclusions. First, perhaps the reason so many hikers struggle on this trail is they're carrying too much baggage. Every steep climb, dry water source, and unmarked junction they've read or heard about sabotages the journey before it's even begun. This trail is difficult, there's no doubt about that. But it doesn't get any easier carrying unnecessary burdens. Take it from the girl who spent most of the way feeling anxious, frustrated, or sorry for herself the first time around. The second is this, the art lobe is what you make it. Make it a foe to fight against, and chances are things will play out more like a tragedy than an epic adventure. Make it a friend to travel beside, and I can almost promise the story will have a much happier ending. Thank you.